Hey there everybody, Racer52 here with a completed proof of function. This is my DIY hi-hat controller for the TD20 using an FSR. Uh, the still photos show what's underneath that pedal over there. Uh, we can see down there that there's some blue tape, but underneath the pedal is the fixture and that's attached to a little baby hi-hat with a little 10 inch symbol on it and then we have over here the TD20 so in practice the idea is that since the controller is under the pedal you have to manually set where the zero sound occurs so wherever that hi-hat sits at zero um, depending on how much foot pressure I put on it when the hi-hat's closed, that's going to basically change the relaxed closed sound. So I'm going to, as, as I move my foot up and down, I'm going to find a comfortable place to put my foot, and that's going to be my standard closed position. So I'll hit offset, execute, and I don't know if you can see it in there, but it brought the meter down into the closed position. So that set an internal offset adjustment so now it knows that that much pressure is a uh, closed hi-hat. If I go any more than that, you can see it dipping down below. So if I go to that setting there, which seems to be a pretty relaxed position for me sitting in the position I'm in now. I've got my hi-hat connected with the FSR controller on the bottom of the hi-hat and we're looking at the offset adjustment on the T20 and what you do in this particular case since the controller is underneath the pedal um, and there are, there's only one hi-hat not two what I do is I rest my foot in a position where I feel like that's going to be my rested hi-hat position just barely closed go to offset execute the offset adjustment it moves up to where that's the now the new setting for zero and now when I lift up you can see the goes up when I lift down back to the same foot position it goes there if I press harder it goes below so that setting there is where the system sees the closed hi-hat if I go below it it gets tighter and if I go above it fine I can do a foot splash and that's where I am actually just bobbing up and down on the pedal so that seems to work really nicely uh, the machine is showing it bobbing up and down now I also have an LED on here that indicates when the edge is struck on the hi-hat that light there that just lit up over there and during that you can see whether or not the rim is lighting up and hitting the bow there's the bow and then I can throw in an edge and get an edge There seems to be a good control of the different sounds. And on this symbol, I can actually still have my choke available. That was me choking it by hand. So, so you can see that because this was my crash symbol. So foot's off the pedal and
pretty cool. I think it works.